בוקר טוב, good morning, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Jules Polonetsky who's uh, the co-founder of the US Israel Tech Policy Institute and also the uh, CEO of the Future Privacy Forum uh, think tank uh, based in Washington DC and Jules will uh, set the stage for this day and also tell us a little about the Institute. Jules. Boker Tov, Shalom Lekulam, welcome, thank you for joining us, uh, not only at the beginning, of course, of uh, Cyber Week, uh, but for this special kickoff uh, for us as well. Um, our goal with the U.S.-Israel Tech Policy Institute, and I should say for today, perhaps, we are the U.S.-Israel-Europe Tech Policy Institute, and in fact, I think given the level of interest we see in this dialogue, this critical dialogue around the key policy issues that are essential for us to get right if we're going to achieve advances in technology that support the society uh, and the goals of freedom and security of online community um, uh, and effective ways to combat uh, online terror and online hate, working with civil society, working with NGOs, working with the academic community, working with the diplomatic community, with our colleagues in the US and Europe, our theory was what better place to start such an effort than here in Israel where we all know so well the incredible technological cooperation that we see around the world, uh, the number of companies and leaders that are coming in this week uh, to do business, to understand technology, to see innovation. But I think what we see around the world is that simple technological innovation has a real two-edged sword. On one hand, it takes on some of the great challenges of society. On the other hand, it creates some of the great challenges of society. And it may be as important for us to be innovators in new policy that ensure that we get those benefits. And so we certainly know about the corporate and the industry cooperation around the world, but we thought that there was room for more cooperation around policy discussions, around civil society discussions. I think it's quite clear that in the US, in Europe, in Israel, we have a robust community debating, arguing, discussing the right policies that we need to have in place around technology. And if we can combine some of that innovative spirit that Israel has in technology, with some of the innovative spirit that some of the leading academics in civil society and NGOs have here, with the thoughtful leaders in Europe and the US, I think we have a phenomenal uh, combination. And so we hope today that this is just the beginning. We look forward not only to really uh, engaging conversations, but we look forward to all of you who are here helping think, where can this go? What can we do? What do we need? Policy papers, missions, cooperation in Europe, in the US, in Israel, to build a real robust social and policy support structure. So we thank you. It's great to have a partner like uh, uh, Omer Tanay, uh, a law professor in Israel, now with us in the US for a couple of years, uh, and vice president of the International Association of Privacy Professionals to uh, uh, help co-found this. Uh, I'll say one very brief thought, since we're in Israel, and since privacy is an important part of the day, I'm always remiss if we don't point out that Israel, was historically the birthplace of privacy law. Those of you who study the Bible a bit may recall a very famous story in the Bible of the Jews leaving Egypt and uh, a fearsome battle was to be fought and the king, Balak, uh, was worried. Uh, Har Har Sinai, Ten Commandments, how do you have a battle like this uh, when you have the technological edge of, you know, uh, of God uh, on your side? So he needed help from a prophet, uh, and he called the prophet to come and to curse the people so he would have a superior advantage. And this famous prophet, Bilam, came and stood on a mountain and he saw the tents of the children of Israel in the desert. And instead of a curse, of course, came out a blessing. What was the blessing? Ma tovu alecha Yaakov mishkenotecha Yisrael. Part of the prayer service. Um, how beautiful are the tents of, uh, of Israel, the children of Jacob? And the commentaries say, 
what was so beautiful about the tents? Like, it's nice to have nice tents, but why is this such a blessing? And the commentaries explain that the entrance of the tents was set up so they didn't face each other, so that you didn't come out of your tent and accidentally see into your neighbor's tent and invade their privacy. And then that later becomes some of the basis of very early ancient law. So perhaps quite appropriate that we have a conference kicking off with some of the hard privacy issues that come along with cybersecurity. Thank you so much. Omer. Thank you.